British people have made their decision. We must respect that result, and Article 50 has to be invoked now so that we negotiate an exit from the European Union. Jeremy's been 10 out of 10 when it comes to leaving Europe. He turned around and said, let's put Europe immediately. Let's trigger Article 50. He said last week that he didn't say it, but we all know he did because it was captured on video. Now, I think that we should still be making a much bigger argument. I think saying trigger Article 50 is like giving Liam Fox and David Davis a blank check to rip up those workers' rights, to rip up those social protections, to argue for a hard Brexit because they don't believe in them. Just to be clear from both of you, would this process involve anyone from so-called Islamic State, yes or no? No, they're not going to be around the table, no. Well, my record is I was someone who worked on the peace process in Northern Ireland for three years. I was part of the UK's negotiating team that helped bring together the, the loyalist paramilitaries and the DUP in particular into the process alongside And so with so-called Islamic and, State? And my view is that ultimately all solutions to these sorts of crises, these sorts of international crises, do come about through dialogue. So eventually, if we are to try and solve this, all of the actors do need to be involved. But at the moment, ISIL are clearly not interested in negotiating. Okay. Right. Therefore, you're a no and you're a yes, that's well, clear. Thank you. No, it's, I'm, no, it's, it's yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. People at heard some you. point, it's, for us to resolve yeah. this, we will need to get people around the table. Okay. Just a moment ago, you said that so-called IS had to be destroyed. Yesterday, you said we might have to talk to them. Which is it? No, look. I think we've all got to remember this is an incredibly serious and complicated issue and not one that's dealt in 140 characters on Twitter or in two lines on a television programme. Obviously there has to be a strategy, but the whole point of the referendum was that the public would be asked their opinion, they've given their opinion, and I think it's up to Parliament to now act upon that opinion. But quite clearly, negotiations must take place. There must be the best deal possible in order to uh, ensure strong industries in Britain remain strong and strong industries that have big export markets uh, in retain those export markets as far as we can. But we are in some very difficult areas. That's very obvious to everybody. Uh, can we talk about uh, Brexit? On the, on the morning after the referendum, you did go on TV and you basically said we need to invoke Article 50 now. Is that, is that still your view? That we um, should... I may not have put that as well as I should have done. Uh, my view was and is that at some point Article 50 is going to be invoked, obviously. But Maybe we don't need to rush. And, and we've, we, no, no, no. It was just bad. And, bad. No, it, long, it had been a long night and you expressed it sort of I, badly. I, the view I was putting was that Article 50 will be invoked at some point. I did not mean it should be invoked on Friday morning and we should rush over to Brussels and start negotiating things away because clearly the negotiations are going to be very long and very complicated because 40 odd years of EU membership means that almost every piece of legislation brings in an EU regulation somewhere. I think that's a very important clarification. Mm.